What's up guys, it's Lucas. We are back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about summer, summer clothes, all that stuff. Turns out I have a ton of stuff to show you guys. Don't wanna waste your time. We're gonna get straight into it. So first thing up is camp collar shirts. Yes, we've heard about camp collars. They've been around, they've been coming back every summer, but I'm gonna go a little more in depth and show a few other things. Obviously, a basic color like brown um, or a yellow or something like that is very easy to throw over tank tops, a white t-shirt. What I like is like a, a sleeveless uh, vintage shirt, something like that. I'm wearing a blue one right now. Obviously very light, easy to wear for summer. Somewhat elevated from a t-shirt with the collar and everything. You can like go out at night. Camp collar is easier for me to wear like boots and other things. Or if you are wearing sneakers, kind of steps it up just a teeny tiny bit. Basic colors like I was saying, brown, blue, yellow. I mean that also kind of extends into like a Hawaiian tee. This is like a printed shirt with all these kind of 50s-ish graphics. Specifically, shirts with like faces, people, and like cars on them are a little more trendy, I'd say. The reds, the blues, the greens. Also, shirts have been getting a little bit smaller. I think most people have been liking the oversized shirts the past summers. Now we're kind of moving to like a small fitted camp collar shirt. This one's a little bigger on me. But you understand what I'm saying, like a smaller fitted collared shirt. This is kind of a cream mesh one. You can really see right through it. And it was a lot longer at first, but I cropped it, put a white stitch through it. It just gives that boxy shape that you're looking for. One of my favorite things to throw on again with like a sleeveless shirt. We actually call them wife respecters. Or a wife respecter. Those are good. So we also have the bowling or chain stitch shirts. I think specifically bowling, a little more trendy. This is a, a tan one that I have, you can see from the back. This one in particular is a polo, it doesn't button all the way down, but both are popular, the polos or the button down ones. It's also usually got a name right here, that's what people love to see, the chain stitch name, and a crop. I also cropped this t-shirt, more of a boxy fit. Obviously like no maintenance, they have those boxy fit shirts as well, Prada's been doing that. I'll dig a little bit deeper here, we have this cinched waist polo shirt. This is more of a silk material. It's got this ribbing up here. This is a 80s or 90s white shirt. Pick this up for very, very cheap. It's affordable. Again, like a different kind of collared shirt. I've also layered this shirt a lot. Okay, taking it another step deeper. This is a vintage football jersey. Yes, a soccer jersey. If you know Brandon, you know Blowcore. Brandon specifically kind of created the look, slash coined the name, and the trend has been popping off. This was a pretty cool one I found on eBay. It is a Deutschland jersey. I'm from Germany, my mom's from Germany, so I wanted to get somewhat of like a practice jersey. This isn't team specific. I did crop the bottom of it. Some people say you shouldn't crop the jerseys, you should keep it long, but I'm making something specific to me, something boxy. I love this shirt, very, very comfortable in the heat. You got that nice like satiny polyester black collar on it. Perfect shirt for the summer. Everyone, I mean, if you're into soccer, everyone's got a jersey. I think honestly, Blowcore just allows soccer fans to just wear their jerseys and, you know, make it like a fit at, or it's trendy or fashionable. Obviously, Americans love football, soccer. Uh, we're gonna wear shirts. I won't get into it too much. I know, I live in Texas. It's very hot. I can still get away with wearing certain pants. Breathable light pants are kind of hard to find. So I'm gonna go over some of the options that I think are good. First thing are these Levi's polyester pants. These are 70s Levi's, very similar to the Wrangler Ranchers, but these actually have the cut of a 517. They are a black and gold tab. They're very cheap on eBay. I've got both of these colors on eBay. Very wearable and breathable. I have like this aqua blue color, tan color, a brown color. Alternative to these, Fix Clothing actually makes their own kind of polyester flared pants. These are a little bit more flared, I'd say. I uh, recently grabbed these Dickies from some boys at Double Face Vintage. They were at a local market. I don't think these are going for too much. They're just these like kind of scrunchy, almost like work type 
pants. I got one little Dickies pocket right here. Very lightweight. They're a little bit wider of pants. I'm sure you've seen these as well. I don't like wearing shorts, so this is something I gravitate to. Another good one are these vintage Boy Scout pants. Of course, OG 107s will also be a good choice. I think these might be a little bit lighter than those, a little more breathable, but great pant. Um, I've talked about these before, won't get into it too much. So obviously for summer, a good t-shirt. Something I would maybe put over a single stitch shirt is this very cool western suede vest. Now I got this from my friend XR, he said he didn't wear it that much. I think it's also just a cool layering piece, apart from just summer. Speaking of t-shirts, I have a few new ones, so I'll show you guys real quick. This is just a single stitch bull riding tee. It's got Brent Thurman on it. It's from the 80s. Uh, sadly, he passed away, but I think this is a great tee. Um, great fade on it, and I love that graphic. Simple. It's a little bit slimmer, too. You go with flares, go with bell bottoms. Another fader is this uh, John Mellencamp shirt. This is actually a very small t-shirt on me. Great price for an 80s vintage tee. It's also on a Hanes uh, made in USA. Thought it was a really cool t-shirt. One of my favorite, favorite t-shirts recently. This single stitch thrashed Johnny Cash t-shirt. I got this from my friend Adam at Stitches Vintage. It is thrashed in the back. I will try and show you some. I mean, it's getting pretty paper thin. It's got the Johnny Cash signature right there on the front. That was his tour merch. Love to have it in the collection. Not going to be able to wash it much. Another single stitch, just this nice blue t-shirt. I love a good royal blue color and if somehow I didn't have a blue vintage shirt like this before. I don't know how, but Brandon gave this to me, appreciate it. I can't talk about t-shirts without mentioning the Mr. Mark Boudelier 2022 Summer Camp t-shirt. If you guys haven't seen this, it's really cool. We got all these signatures on the back on every single shirt. My name is on it right there. Brandon's towards the top next to Tanner, Ryan, Julian, and a ton of really cool people all signed on the back. I want to say thank you, Mark. Of course, we love your stuff. Forgot to mention, but I went to New York recently, met up with Mark, and I will have a vlog coming out. It was really fun. I, I got a bunch of pickups to show you, and uh, I met a lot of cool people, Tanner. That'll be fun. That'll be coming soon, I promise. So one thing I did want to get into is accessories, things like that. When it's the summer and you have very basic outfits to create, no layering, having jewelry, rings, things like that really helps stand out. What really stood out to me was this crazy bending rings that you see sometimes. I love that. I feel like an Elden Ring character or like I'm casting a spell or something. I have an amazing brand Vitali here where I have quite a few rings from them. Specifically this bending ring is called the Fragment and these are all made with recycled stainless steel. I love this fluid one called the Spark and this little barbed wire design. Very cool. I've also been wearing their glyph necklace. It's a good little pop of silver under a t-shirt or a camp collar. Vitaly is also giving us a 20% discount off your order. You just have to use the links in my description below. There's a link for worldwide and an EU link. Amazing. I love being able to offer that to you guys and thank you Vitaly. A few more things I love to talk about. Glasses, hats. I'm wearing this hat today which I've actually had for a while. I think hats from the 70s, 60s, 50s in particular are getting more popular. Shown this one before, but a nice black corduroy hat from West Point. Recently got this 1996 World Series hat. Very simple baseball cap. I think the fit of these hats are really cool. And I was born in New York, okay, so I can say I'm a Yankees fan. Another really cool accessory. The one and only star bag. Mason, the boys working on these star bags do a great job. I added a few little pins to mine, but the star bags are really cool. I mean, if tote bags are the simple, the basic, some people don't want to wear them at all anymore. Having a different shape is especially the star bag look um, it can be like crossbody it could be off the shoulder they have two colors out right now the black and the white I can't actually fit like my camera in there too a few vintage pins I've been collecting a lot of patches as well recently got this kind of 70s Maui hat a lot of these hats that I have are on Casey Blanks that's one of my favorite this isn't my shirt but I just love this so what 1985 vintage sleeveless shirt I think these are really sick I have a couple sleeveless 
shirts, I think it's good to layer. Another huge part of your outfits are, of course, your shoes. We are talking about blowcore a bit, but Sambas have been popping off like crazy. I've kind of shown off my Sambas before, but again, I have a few different pairs. We have the classic, the black, the suede toe, the gum sole. That's one that's been popping off a lot and used in like a blowcore type of look with jerseys, with straight pants, stuff like that. Now these ones are super beat. Um, found these in a Goodwill 2019, I think. Your old soccer shoes are now cool. I think honestly people hate them now because they've been everywhere. A color that I never see anyone wear is this like light blue with a darker brown color. Obviously the Wales Bonner Sambas have been huge. Probably seen these black ones everywhere. I've even shown them on the channel already. I'm sure this is the new hype shoe, but those new green ones are amazing. We also have the Margella Gats, the replicas. Another hype one, I know. This shape is just something I wear so easily. Bell bottoms with flares, with straight pants. This is like my go-to. The cream colored, the cream colored laces, everything really just suits me a lot more. If you're still looking for something different, I think mules are huge too. The Birkenstock sandals, hyped as well, but different kinds of mules. Uh, these crazy like cow mules, this is secondhand, this is a thrift line, but the shape is unique and it adds something different to your outfit. Another hype one, these Oakleys. Uh, I've had these slip-ons for a while, but this has also been huge, 2022. Oakleys, very cool, slip-ons, loafers, have been big as well. Loafers with like a nice flare, also good. These are white ones uh, with tassels, so I don't think these are a very like popular shape. I would rather prefer maybe like a metal bit and I might replace that very soon, but um, a black and white loafer, super clean, super good for summer. And lastly, Doc Martens 1461. The mono blacks. I'm sure, again, you've seen this before, but sometimes in summer, it's just the basics that are working. A nice bag, a nice bandana, all these things kind of add into your summer outfits. Summer is about keeping cool and still feeling fashionable, still feeling confident in your outfits. I think it's all completely possible. This summer in particular, I see a lot of the trends coming full circle, the bell bottoms, the Adidas, the blowcore, all that stuff. I think there's definitely room for you to still make an outfit that is personal to you, whether it's whatever items you value more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you were able to get something different out of it. And I will be back with a New York video very soon. Thanks, have a good day.